Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating my front porch for Christmas, making a huge DIY wreath using pool noodles and also decorating my entryway. So this DIY I saw on TikTok, it was a bit different, so today I'm making it my own. You are going to obviously need two pool noodles. These were called giant pool noodles. I think they're just a little bit thicker than the regular size, and I found mine at Publix, two for $5. You are going to attach them together, making a big circle, and I just used duct tape for this, and that worked really well. I highly recommend asking someone to help you do this part because it can be a little tricky to complete the circle on your own but as you can see I was able to do it it just took a little more effort and then Michaels had this five foot kind of cheap looking green garland on sale for $3.99 so I picked up five packs and I'm so glad I did because it turned out to be the perfect amount then you're going to wrap the garland tightly around the noodles it is on a wire so I just twisted the ends together before moving on to the next piece of garland. And as you can see, my bunny is very involved in this DIY. He absolutely loved it. Now I'm going around and fluffing the garland out. There will be a lot of spaces, but that's okay. We are going to cover those with ornaments. These ornaments are also from Michaels. I got them at the beginning of the season on sale for, I wanna say $15 each. I'm using two packs of the standard ornament size, which is what we're starting with. And then I have two packs of smaller ornaments that we'll be using later. And then we're just going to hot glue the ornaments all around. This process took a while, so I recommend making sure you have plenty of hot glue, maybe doing this with a friend, or putting on a good Christmas movie. A new one that I saw recently on Netflix that I really liked is The Noel Diary. It stars Justin Hartley from This Is Us and it was just so cute. Highly recommend checking that one out if you haven't seen it. Okay, so here's what it looks like with two of the big ornament boxes. I was so worried I wasn't going to have enough, but I still have both of these small ones and they have 50 in each one. So here's what it looks like. I think it's coming out really good. With all DIYs, you know, sometimes you don't know what to expect. The bunny has been having a great time helping me. And yeah, the one thing I will say is as I move it around, it is starting to get a little heavy. So I think I'm just gonna add in maybe one of the small ornament boxes. Um, as you can see, you can see the noodle in some areas, but I'm just gonna fluff out all of the greenery around it, add in some more ornaments, but it is looking so nice. Okay, here is how it turned out. I'm so excited. I don't know if I should put lights on it. I think that might make it look even better. But for now, this is what it looks like with the garland and the ornaments. I used three boxes, so I just have one of the small ones left that I will probably end up returning. And yeah, so this is it. It feels heavy, like I said, so we'll see how hanging it up on the front porch goes. This guy has been 
helpful and also unhelpful in the process, but he is just too cute. Today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you choose a new designer scent each month for just $17. And with each fragrance, you will get a 30-day supply, which is about eight times bigger than a normal perfume sample. Scentbird has over 600 designer brands to choose from, including perfumes, colognes, and unisex options. If you don't know where to start, they have a really great fragrance recommendation quiz where they'll help you discover a fragrance that you will love. I have been having so much fun building my perfume collection with Scentbird. Here are the three favorites that I've been loving. The Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which I totally used to wear in college all of the time. Top notes are lemon, apple, cedar, bamboo, and musk. This one is so great. And then my favorite for the holiday season is this Commodity Gold. It is such a warm, beautiful scent that I think is perfect for the holidays with top notes of vanilla, benzoin, tonka bean, sandalwood, and molten amber. I love that one. And then this is another one that I've been loving. It's from Rise and it's called Good Habit. This one is very refreshing with top notes of raspberry, crisp pear, peony, freesia, and musk. I love trying out new fragrances each month and also rediscovering old favorites like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue that I used to wear in college. I also love the packaging that they come in. It's super chic and very easy to throw in your purse or suitcase for traveling. You can also purchase full-size fragrances, body lotions, diffusers, and candles on Scentbird, which would make the perfect gift this holiday season. So make sure to click my link below and use my code JessicaG2 for 55% off your first order at Scentbird, which is only about $8 for your first month. I also have some exciting news. Scentbird is now available in Canada. We are also going to be decorating my entryway here for Christmas. The first thing that I did is I have this cute wooden village that I got from Balsam Hill a couple years ago. So I actually plugged that in. It lights up, so cozy and cute, and I thought it just looked really pretty here in front of the mirror. I already attached several of these command hooks all around the mirror and we will be hanging up some garland on top. I also have a new rug that I'm going to add in here now. It's one of the washable ones so it's going to be a lot easier for all the traffic that comes through the front door. I'm taking two garlands and using floral wire to attach them. This will make them look more full, plus they will be easier to attach to my mirror if I hang them when they're already tied together. These are my favorite faux Christmas garlands. I love that they have different kinds of pine. It makes them look really realistic. I will link them down below if they are still in stock. It will always be Christmas in If you really want your garlands to appear even more realistic and full, my secret is adding in real sprigs of eucalyptus after it's hung up. The eucalyptus will dry out and hold its color and add a really organic feel to the garland. I 
I'm using the same twinkle lights as I used in my last video where I decorated my loft. I think these are the perfect magical lights to use for Christmas. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are fall. Next, I'm taking two wooden trees from Home Goods and adding them to the table. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing. I love how minimal yet magical our entryway looks and feels this year for Christmas. Now moving on to the porch, I ended up using a big outdoor command hook to hang my wreath and I did go ahead and add lights and I'm so glad I did. It looks so pretty, especially at night. The only sad part is it kind of took the shape of an egg after I hung it up, but I don't care. I still love the size and the pop of color and lights that it adds to our porch. Hunter and I went to Whole Foods and picked out two of their tabletop trees that I'm also using on our porch. I really wanted the real look and smell of the pine trees on our porch this year, so it looks and smells like Christmas before you even walk inside. And we I'm so excited to use the garland I got from Home Depot last year. It's so nice and long and has a lot of pops of red throughout and it just fills out this doorway so beautifully. This is a new wreath from at home. I showed it in a haul and I was so excited to see how it would look with a garland. And if you saw my Christmas porch video last year, then you will recognize this lantern. It was another Home Depot find. It lights up and it just looks so Christmassy and magical here on the porch. from last year are these three light up birch trees. These are really pretty lit up at night. I'm using the tallest one behind the lantern and then the medium and the small will go on the other side to help balance out the lights. I'm so glad I didn't return the extra set of ornaments. Instead, I used them to decorate my little pine trees and they really complemented the DIY wreath perfectly.
this is my life working from home with two animals. They are the cutest little co-workers and are so curious about everything that I'm doing during the day. I wanted to vacuum this rug. It's been out since the fall and is relatively clean, but I just like to freshen it up for the new season. My favorite part about decorating is going in with all of the little details at the end. I found these ice skates a few years ago and I thought they would look really cute out here next to my red lantern. Okay, so here is how the Christmas porch turned out this year. Let me know what you think. I have been loving decorating with traditional colors and adding in textures and scents of real seasonal pieces where I can. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have an amazing day.